Welcome to season three of A Cut Above the Rest, brought to you by Massey Ferguson. I'm Dr. Jennifer Tucker, and I'm gonna to talk to you today about Baelich production. Baelage is a high moisture feed source that we're able to develop for our livestock that kind of decreases some of the limitations that we see with dry hay production. The main thing when you're looking at baleage is the moisture level. When we're looking at the moisture levels of a baleage product, that's gonna be between 40 and 60% moisture, or the inverse, 60 and 40% dry matter. If you were comparing that to a dry hay product, you're gonna to get to that 18, 15% or lower and really dry that product down. We call it high moisture hay, uh, but it's very high moisture hay in comparison to that dry hay. Most of the time when I'm talking to a producer that could be considering a transition into a baleage system, they're not going to completely get rid of their dry hay production. You know, they've got that and they figured out that. But they're looking at maybe times of the year when rain is always going to be a factor. You know, in the southeast, in the spring, there's going to be pop-up showers in the afternoon. In the summer, there's going to be pop-up showers. And so if you can't get those two or three days of dry weather to dry that hay product down, then baleage becomes a positive alternative. The advantage of baleage production is it eliminates the, the weather impact, so you're able to get more timely harvest. This translates into higher forage quality and an improved storage method. So these are all things in comparison to dry hay that we're able to improve if we switch to a baleage system. However, when it comes to improved forage quality, we don't want people to think that automatically, if they're wrapping their product, whatever it is, that it's improving that quality. Forage quality is a function of the forage maturity at harvest, the handling during that harvesting process, and the storage. So we like to remind producers that eight-week-old Bermuda grass that is already in poor quality, wrapped up and stored as baleage, is still poor quality eight-week-old Bermuda grass when you unwrap it. The equipment you need from baleage is not that different than what you need from a dry hay situation, but if you're gonna get heavy into baleage, we are gonna recommend that you upgrade some of that. When it comes to a baler, you wanna make sure that you pick a baler that can handle the high moisture material. That's where we see a lot of the breakdowns in a baleage production system. Having a baleage equipped baler or one that has uh, the choppers in it really helps to chop up that material, which makes it easier for the fermentation process, releases those sugars, and then also translates to better digestibility for the livestock when they're eating that. And then obviously you need a wrapper so that you can wrap that product. One of the big questions that producers are always asked is, when do you cut your hay? When we talk about baleage, we tend to tell producers that later in the day that they cut, they're gonna get that better, higher quality forage. This is due to the photosynthesis process that allows those carbohydrates to start to increase from sun up all the way to sundown. When you get to sundown, that's where your highest sugar content is gonna be in that forage. You get the higher sugar content, you have a higher quality forage product, but in a baleage situation, that also is gonna help with that fermentation process. And usually by the next morning, after we have the dew lifted, we start doing moisture testing. Once our moisture hits that 60%, or, or we say 55 is the go time, we are then in the field, raking, baling, and then moving straight to the wrapper. Especially when you're first getting started into baleage, we tell people to start small. But the main thing is to only cut as much material as you can handle. Cutting is not the, the bottleneck in the baleage system. It's actually the wrapping time period. Now, if it's your first time out, be prepared that there's something going to mess up in the system that would then destroy your baleage product. We want you to start small and only cut the amount of material that you can handle and you can cut, rake, bale, and wrap in that 24 hour time period. In summary, baleage is a high moisture, high quality forage product. In challenging weather years, baleage can provide producers the flexibility needed to still harvest a high quality forage feed for their livestock. Remember to match your equipment needs with your production goals. 
Thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed learning about Baelish production. Stay tuned for our next episode with Dr. Taylor Hendricks. To prove your hay is the best, I encourage you to work with your county extension agent, collect and submit a hay sample to the 2019 Southeastern Hay Contest. For more information, visit our website, sehaycontest.com.